I'm Michelle, and I lead the ontology working group. Um, so this is my band, the people that back me up and help us make decisions of what we're going to work on during uh, ontology work group, which is on Thursdays, third Thursdays every, every month. Okay, so what I'm going to do is we have a little bit of an eclectic mix of things that we're going to talk about today. I'm going to run through real quickly um, some of the stuff that we've worked on since the last symposium, and then we're going to kind of dig in a little bit into our mission statement into just exposing um, some of the ontology or ontology-related features um, to the community. So since we last met, we uh, spent a little bit of a time uh, trying to figure out if we can build a better medication classification. Right now, um, most people are either using like ATC or VA, but they're all very incomplete. So we're doing a little bit chatting about how we can kind of integrate the two and uh, make a better classification system. We actually completed the ontology store, and um, at the end, I will request um, some beta testers for that. Kevin built a nice little plugin that should make installing ontologies quicker and also a place where we can catalog ontologies. Um, we've also been thinking about creating some resources for beginners. Uh, and I'll talk about that a little bit later as well. And then we did the same thing exercise that uh, Griffin did in the UI work group. We brainstorm changes to the core system that we think would benefit the ontology uh, development and use. I only included a few of ours here. Um, one of the main ones that I wanted was being able to predefine or embed values or value flags into an ontology concept. Right now, when you make an ontology concept, it's either um, a custom CDEM code or a path. I want to kind of be able to merge the two so that if I want to make a concept that it has a certain value of um, like a lab or use value flag codes or some of those other fields that are in the observation fact table, um, being able to do that and include the hierarchical uh, abilities of the ontology. Um, we've also batted around different things uh, in terms of the user's ability to uh, view more information about the ontology terms. Anapama and her team have already put a bunch of them into the new 1.8.1. Um, we also were thinking we may need a way to query for just a single concept without the children. Um, when you negate, you know, the way I had been thinking about it was that you would like put the hierarchical, con the higher level concept and then negate the other one, but that doesn't get the same kind of results. So it might be nice to have a way to um, query for just a single concept when um, you don't want all of the children values also. Um, we also talked about having control of, you know, giving the ability to um, have how the, ontology concepts look. Um, I guess uh, Mark Abajian had done a ontology on the social determinants of health where he was able to put in HTML to control the color and bolding and things of that, but that didn't translate into the new um, UI. So we still want to have ways to change colors and, and bolding and things of that nature. And the other one was people wanted to have a way to un, uh, query for terms that are related, are about people related to the patients, not on the patient. So those are just a few of the things that we've been kind of batting around. And uh, hopefully we'll be doing more and you'll come and join us. So like I said, for this session, we're gonna use our time to focus on our third mission item, uh, marketing and support, where we're trying to actively promote um, different features and functionality that's within I2B2 that maybe people aren't taking advantage of. So we just want to, after um, the Mayo team comes up and uh, talks a little bit about their admin experience, um, I'll just run through a series of things that um, we'd like to expose to the community and, and try to get you to take advantage of those features uh, 
because uh, a lot of them are very powerful, um, but I, I think they're lesser known. So, Mayo? 